Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Today we're starting on a new map that I've not played before. This is Smogly Hospital. Welcome to Smogly, based just outside the city. The mayor is keen to help develop this area. I'd recommend building up a teaching hospital and training some surgeons. Surgery requires a qualified doctor and a nurse. But it brings in the big bucks, so it's worth it. So basically, we now have to actually operate on people, which I didn't even realize we hadn't done yet. I guess I didn't think about it. So we need to train a bunch of staff. We also need to have a doctor trained in surgery, at least. All right, so I guess, well, let's start off. Let's start off with the basics so we can get some money rolling. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is another classic building in an awkward shape and size. Oh boy, they, they love doing this. So I'm going to put the GP here. Reception. You know what? I'm going to do a reception desk again because I really feel, even in the last hospital where it got out of control, we never really needed more than the one reception desk. And the reception room has to be quite big to be able to let everyone in. And this I can just shove in the center. The center and then not worry about it. So let's get customer service assistant. You go here and we probably want some heating because it's probably gonna be freezing. There you go. And one by the GP's office, beautiful. And I know we don't actually have a doctor yet. Let's not worry about it. Let's get a little bathroom in here. I love using these templates, so handy. All right, doctor, let's get a student doctor so they're easily trainable. And a nurse with, hmm, bedside manner, motivation, and treatment is probably a good nurse to have. We will probably also want cardiology and general diagnosis because we typically need to use those early on. I guess the question is, so if we have GP here, maybe we can do other diagnostics down this end of the, oh no, what is this size? Why did they put the door there? They do it on purpose. If I put them on this side, so we got general diagnosis, get a janitor, which has like everything, which is probably quite expensive, but we'll do it. Easy scan, upgrade right away, go. So it's gonna be even better. Then we're gonna get cardiology right there. Have you already been sent to this room? Hang on, no, 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 close. Close that room, send them to this room. <laughs> that room's currently, wait, are you gonna leave or will we? Mm. I don't know, you, you still work on it, good. I was wondering if I close the room or you keep upgrading it. Okay, good. Yeah, you keep working on that. Like we did in the last hospital where we sort of did it bit by bit. I think that works quite well. Get some benches here, a little bin, and a little leaflet stand for those in case they're bored. I'll just put it in the middle now because I'm not sure where other rooms are gonna go just yet. All right, so that gives us a good little base. Now we probably also wanna do the other essentials, which would be a staff room. I might need to build a, I might build a smaller staff room actually than this template. Because a three by three is a little big and we could fit it in this space here. If I actually edit this room quickly, move the the door to there and we move the bench and this thing out of the way then we can easily fit a staff room here in this space instead there you go a little level three staff room just goes straight there then i think this bench would have to go about here this leaflet sound might fit here maybe yeah there you go all right so that, i think that's a pretty good use of that space that also leaves this is open for a four by three room uh which is actually pretty good that's a pretty good size i have available for now i'll put the snack machine there uh, we also need a ward, so I'll get them to wait. Let's build a ward, which has to be four by three, which I guess we could do a tiny ward, but I mean, I never, how many people are gonna have in it, you know? So we could fit a four by three here and a three by three room there. So this is actually good, actually not bad sizing for once, which is unusual for this game. <laughs> now, where do I wanna put a ward? Maybe at the back? I guess maybe we could just do a four by three for now. It just means we'll have to build a bigger one later, because this can really only fit three beds in it. And obviously I didn't fit any of the extra amenities like the chair and the coffee machine and all that. But for now, that's probably fine. So I'm gonna need definitely another nurse at least. Let's get a student nurse because then we can train them up pretty easily. So we've got two nurses. We'll probably need a third because we've got these two extra diagnosis rooms here. Hey, easy scan two. All right, so now I'm gonna close cardiology and then we're gonna do that thing where we upgrade this room while that one's not being upgraded. So then we could just sort of go back and forth a little bit. So I need to cure 15 patients in surgery, which is actually kind of interesting. Now, turtle head, how do I do that? I guess that will just, maybe someone will come into the hospital and we'll diagnose them with it maybe. All right, training room. I don't really want to add it through all here because this is like a pretty, pretty good area. I mean, I guess uh, it has to be, it's kind of annoying that it has to be three by three. It means it has to bump out into that hallway. But I suppose we could have it here for now. It's a pretty big training room. <laughs> Definitely seems like a waste of space. This is something that will move. There you go, we got training room. Whoa, that is a crazy qualified nurse for treatment. Up to treatment three and diagnostics and injection. Pretty good nurse, to be honest. Though they're a treatment nurse, so I don't really want them in 
any of these rooms. I mean, maybe they could go in the ward, but they don't have ward management. Got a GP doctor too. Hmm. It's tempting to get them, but I don't know. Ah, this one's a little bit better. They have uh, one training slot available already as well. Might have too many nurses. Oh, wait, how many nurses do I have? Three. Oh no, we've got three nurse rooms. It's just one of them is closed. That's fine. All right, so I'm going to train that nurse in Diagnostics 2, right? That's who we had. Yeah, why not? We'll get him double diagnosticing. Now, we do need surgery, which is actually the whole goal of this. So why don't we get... Oh, that's done. Cool. I'm also going to unlock this room now. Open it back up again. And let's build the new room, which I didn't even know existed. So we're going to... Four by three, I think was the minimum. Oh, nice big surgery bed. Oh, little curtain. Oh, and a thing as well. Oh, a little uh, washing station. Nice. Get that there. Medical sink. Oh, we got some medicine cabinets because you definitely need them in here. Get a toxic waste bin. You know, we'll make this place nice. I mean, I think we're still kind of near the nuclear power plant, so it might be a good idea to have this. Toxic waste. Uh, fire extinguisher, always important. Hand sanitizer, yes. Oh, radiator for heat. Uh, of course, water cooler next to the radiator, can't forget. And I'll actually do two chairs because you need a nurse and a doctor in this room. So maybe two chairs for this room. Oh, I really didn't plan this out. They don't fit very well over there. And one... Hey, there we go. It's only prestige level two though. Oh, we get like wall monitors and stuff. Operation, Mon oh, these are sweet. Let's get some of these. I got 900 kudosh, give me that. These look awesome. Operation monitor, plus two treatment power. Oh, okay, hang on. I might need this room to be a bit bigger. Actually, you know what? I might be able to fit in the middle here. Actually, you should probably face the operating table, right? Yeah, and then we get the wall monitor. Sweet. That, that, that room looks sick. All right, so we don't have a doctor that can actually perform surgery, which is okay at the moment because we don't really have anyone needing surgery. Let's get another radiator there as well to make sure it's nice and warm. Bookcase to read. Some, some benches to sit on around the place. There you go. Some salty snacks right outside of surgery. There's some water as well. We don't really have any of that. Cool. So a few little places to hang out. Now, what's the queue like for the GP? It's actually only one. So at the moment, the hospital's not too busy. I'm gonna upgrade the easy scan again. So we're gonna close that room, get that upgraded. Uh, I only have one doctor, so I should probably get another one. Uh, this guy is trained in radiology, which I guess is handy. And they're not too expensive. I might see actually who's gonna come up in four days. If there's a blanky, a blanky, you know, blank doctor, I will take them because they'll be cheaper and then I can train them with exactly what I want. Never mind, that's way more. Let's get this guy with radiology. There you go. <laughs> Mayoral visit. Sweet. All right, so I need to do some more training because we have to train 10 staff as one of our goals. So first of all, who can even be trained? We have a student doctor, a student nurse. So I'm going to get a doctor. I'm going to train them in surgery so they can actually perform it because then we can have someone that actually uses this room because someone may need it. I don't know. Oh, we're getting a little bit of cue. I guess because I only had one assistant and they went on break. So you know what? This building's actually not too bad in terms of layout. It's kind of annoying that I have, to have the one wide hallway there. But as far as <laughs> comparing it to the last building, it's way less annoying. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Down he goes. Where is he going to fall? No one knows. I like how... <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I like how they sort of, they die, die in the room and then they walk down the hall and just die over here. Oh, we have a ghost. I think my janitor was able to get the ghost, right? Yeah, they are. He's just kind of busy. Um, hey janitor, can you just get the ghost real quick? <laughs> yeah, just, just solve that problem. All good. All good. Don't worry about it. All right, how are we looking for the GP's room? Ooh, yeah, a little bit of a queue. I'm wondering maybe now... We may as well go ahead and maybe get a second GP's office. Put it over this side, maybe. It's kind of annoying with that two gap. We could actually put it here. So everyone enters the hospital this way. And then I can fit two GP's offices over this side. That's actually not a bad idea. Because then I can go there and then get another one there. And then we can get some salty snacks over here. <laughs> and a bin. And maybe... Oh, and a small radiator maybe actually just in that corner. Oh, it's a little warm here. I'll slide this one down a bit, maybe over this side. Yeah, that's better. Uh, and, say, and maybe, can we get a drink fountain here somewhere at the entrance? Oh, oh, just there. There we go, that's better. All right, so my other doctor is currently getting training. and Oh, they're just about done. So then they're going to pop into the other GP's office. I might want to hire some more, though. The, these guys are all way too trained. Ooh, a student nurse. I like a student nurse. Because then you can mold them however you want. Definitely have too many nurses though. I keep, I keep, I keep hiring nurses. I've got four of them. And only currently two rooms that we're really using that need a nurse. We can get a doctor with treatment and DNA. Sure, why not? Let's get them in here. Uh, and you guys did point out, I didn't know that the DNA lab is a treatment and a diagnosis room. Uh, so that is good to know. I did not know that. So thank you. I actually got another janitor with some more upgrade skills as well. 
Because this guy's always constantly busy upgrading and I'm sure that the rest of the hospital's getting a little dirty. Now, who can we train? Let's see, trainees available. We have two student nurses, so maybe we should grab them because we have so many spare nurses right now anyway. And maybe also this other nurse. I'm gonna train all of you in diagnostics. Sure, why not? That sounds like a good idea. Then we'll get three staff trained. That'll take us to five out of 10. There it is. Uh, and that should be good. Oh boy, we need a big award. I didn't actually think we need a big award this quickly, but that one is way too small. <laughs> we have a queue of six, okay. Uh, so let's do it over here. So we can build a ward that looks like this if we wanted, but maybe not that big. Let's go to about, well, it needs to be significantly bigger than the other one. We could actually do this and then this. So it actually is, the ward is the layout of these rooms here. It doesn't look great, but it gets the job done. So if we do that, Get a nurse station, maybe a couple of changing screens. <laughs> what an uncomfortable layout for a ward. Ooh, we can get wall monitors in here. That's super, wait, how much money do I have? Not much. And how much are these? 500? That's actually, I really want one of these above each bed because that's actually really cool. I can't get one above this. Oh, actually, I can just put it on top of the window. That's fine. Yeah, that's awesome. And of course, we get a coffee maker for the staff in here <laughs> and a chair. Right, so how much is this room? 18,000? Not cheap. But that's all right, we're gonna sell this room and you go in here. And you know what? For now, I might actually add a second staff member that can potentially work in there. Although two of our staff are currently, well, actually three of our nurses are being trained, is it? Yeah, so we kind of, I think we have a bit of a nurse shortage, if anything, but that's okay. Just got a few little things in the area so they can hang out. Got the people going into the ward. We currently have only one nurse working in there, mostly because all my others are getting trained right now. This is calling for a nurse, but I'm going to close the room and actually just upgrade. Oh, I don't have the money to upgrade. Okay, never mind. I'm going to open the room. Wow, okay. I did not think we'd be sending this many people to our ward. When did the queue get so big? Oh, also people are cold in that room. Did I not do enough heating in there? Oh, I didn't do any heating in there. My bad. Yeah, that's probably not good for a ward. That should be all right. Man, this is a huge queue over here. Oh, I guess I'll add some more benches for you guys. Here you go. Some of these guys are done with their training now. So I think we should have a... Yeah, we got a second nurse coming in here now, which is good. They're just sitting on the chair. Great. <laughs> all right, so this training actually looks like it's done, which is awesome. Gonna upgrade this machine, close that room, but open this room next to it. So this machine is fully upgraded. This one, we're just upgrading to number three as well. Hmm. I am considering maybe making this even bigger for the ward. Seems to be really, really popular. Right, so I made it a little bit bigger. I have literally no money left. I don't know if this is even gonna help us out or not. But let's get three nurses in there and see if we can get through this. Oh no, this has a queue of eight over here too. Oh boy. Well, the problem is we're not making enough money. So we need to do that first before I can expand this stuff even more, you know? Oh boy. Hmm. Minus $10,000. <laughs> Uh, that might have just been because I did a lot of construction work, so we may be okay. Do I need to fire anyone or are we okay? Uh, not now for promotions, sorry. Oh no, we got $6,000 now, okay. Now that we're getting through this huge backlog of ward- Oh, well there goes one. But they do still pay. It's really nice that they- they die but they still pay. Oh yeah, when I built this room, I actually couldn't afford to put heating in it when I expanded it. So I should probably... My bad. That's probably why they're dying over here. <laughs> There's no heating in this room. Uh, maybe one here. It might be too much if I put another one in. Yeah, see, so it's a little hot there. Maybe if I get rid of this one and do a small one again. Hmm, I don't know if it's too cold in that little corner, but it might be all right. Let's try that. And then I actually can get uh, one more bed in here. I don't know if we need to. I can probably... Oh, did I just kick everybody out? Oh, that's annoying. I probably shouldn't have edited the room because you can just go here and go items and add it in. I think I just, I kicked everyone out, which is really annoying because now they're all going over here. Do they have to like go back through the diagnosis, diagnosis, diagnosis process again? If they get kicked out, how does that work? Because it seems like they are. Oh boy, we got a ghost. All right, it's the award season. I'm going to move my head down. No, I'll move it over here. No, I'll move it up over here because then I'm still looking the right way. Here we go. Open. I almost got open all. Oh. Employer of the year though, rising star. Wait, who is the rising star? Felix Bilge. And employer of the year is me and we're the best teaching hospital. Fantastic. Now let me move my head back down. There we go. Staff morale is not great though. I do have a challenge to do that. Not great. I don't think we, do we need three nurses in here anymore? We might not. I might, 
trying to click on this room, but for some reason, like, oh, there we go. I'm gonna reduce that down to two nurses. And this is now upgraded, so I'm gonna open this room so we can use this as a diagnosis room too, which is good. Injection room. Okay, get patient to wait. We can do that. Three by three room. Hmm, I have a lot of four by three areas. Maybe I could, maybe I should reduce the ward in size now. I don't wanna take up the prime real estate that we have for the four by three, or this three by three here. I want this to be a GP's office at some point. But I guess for now, it can be an injection room. I suppose, how much money do I have? Oh, I got 42,000. Dang, I'm rich now. Sweet. All right, there's that. This requires a nurse. You know what? Everybody laughed at me when I hired so many nurses. But now I'm gonna hire two more because we've got two student nurses, which is actually really, really handy. So I'm gonna train them right away. Uh, trainees. So the two student nurses, we also have a junior nurse. What could I train them in? Maybe treatment, because you got a bit of diagnosis. I mean, treatment is good. Let's train them in treatment. Even though you've already got diagnosis, I'm I'm just gonna let you learn that too. I need to fast forward time a little bit. I'm I'm a little broke right now. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> I can I'll just train the two new nurses then. I won't train the one that had diagnosis, because then we could train them later in diagnosis too. Fracture ward required. Oh boy. Oh actually, I don't know. I said to get patient to wait. I don't think I have money to build one. <laughs> um yeah. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reduce the size of this room again, because I think we've caught up with the backlog of that. And that will give us a bit of money. Now we got 21,000. Now we go Frox Award. And that can come down here and go around the corner. Maybe have a door here. Little nurse station check-in desk right there. And then we can get plenty of these beds in here. I don't know that we're gonna have that many patients needing this, but we can get quite a lot actually. We can get another one down here too. Oh, we need the plaster cast. I always forget about that. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of room in here. So I think we're good. I'll get two of these. Maybe one over here too, why not? Oh. Uh, well, why not? Because I don't have money for it, idiot. I might need two heaters in here, but I'll check. That might be too hot. All right, so there's 28,000. I mean, I can nearly afford it. I suppose I could just get rid of one of these plaster casters. We'd we'll probably be able to afford it then. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we, we, I guess we don't need two of them. All right, so these two nurses are currently being trained. I'm not going to bother hiring any new nurses. Let's have a look at heating. Did I make it too hot? No, actually, it's okay. I do need one in this hallway. Maybe one little one by this door? Yeah. Nice and cozy. Look at that. Couple benches. Whoops, that bench was placed really poorly. Surgery emergency. Cure four patients with spinal BAP. I mean, I'll try. Um, head office required. You need to research head office. Well, I won't get them to wait. I'll send them home then because I don't, I'm not gonna be able to, well, there goes my money. All right, so my doctor that has surgery skill is hopefully gonna go to that room because I need them to do that. Um, ooh, there's a student doctor. I would like to hire them, but I currently have no money. Oh, we've just discovered spinal bap too. Look at that. Okay, so we need a nurse and a doctor. Oh, wait, man, all my nurses are currently busy. <laughs> I, I need four nurses right now, and two of them are in the ward, which is fine because we need them there, but two of them are also just being trained. And one of them is on a break, so so the doctor is in. Doctor is in. Sweet. Oh, Dr. Petra Purple is taking a dump in the curtain room by the looks of it. Oh no, they just put on some outfits. <laughs> put on some scrubs. Okay, so there's a couple of nurses coming now. Looks like one of them is actually heading in here now. Oh, this is actually really cool. I'm excited to see this. I actually, this room looks awesome. Especially love the, these little things that we unlocked. Okay, so the nurse is gonna get changed into scrubs as well. And then this guy comes in, Bob Curious. Oh, you know what? It would probably be beneficial to have multiple curtain um, changing boots because all three of these people need to change. So it might be a good idea, I guess, Maybe after this one to actually just expand this room a little bit and add a couple more of those so they can all change at the same time. Also, we still need another two nurses. Do I have money to hire another one now? I do. Hire another student nurse. Oh, I was just gonna hire another person, but I got negative six grand. Uh, and I also wanna hire another doctor as well, another student doctor, but that's all right, whatever. Whoa. Uh, okay, we found a clock. <laughs> We've had a clock inside of this guy. I like how it's blurring it, but there's like a blanket over this guy anyway. It's not like you could see in there. Oh, we found a rubber ducky. <laughs> what are they gonna find next? Are we done? Hey, looks like you, uh, oh, it's okay. He has time to get changed out of his clothes to go die in the hallway instead of on the table. Um, well, whilst he's dying, I'll just extend this room. I was like, hey, we cured him because he was getting up and walking away and uh, turns out, no, no, we did not. Move this little monitor maybe over. Hmm. All right, so I managed to fit three of those in there and that guy can now go die in peace over there. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Uh, oh wait, are these guys gonna go back into the room? No, no, you in here, please. You're the only surgeon we have, there you go. I'm gonna hire another student nurse, and I'm gonna hire another student doctor as well. And then I'm gonna train that student doctor in surgery. So we have another doctor that can also do that too. We have a queue of seven at the entrance. You know what, I might hire another assistant so that when this guy goes on break, we have someone else to help out. Okay, so now, hopefully they get changed and then, oh really, you all still use the, the first one? I thought you would like each go in one of them. Also, where's the other person? We have a nurse, but where's the doctor? Oh, he's over there. All right, I really need a research lab too, because we need to research the head office, which I don't currently have. Um, I think we also need another GP's office because it's starting to get a little backlogged. I'm going to move the injection room over here and then we can build another GP's office there in a minute. I don't have enough money to do it right now, but that's where it'll go. And I'm upgrading the jab master because we have a quest to, up to upgrade a machine there. <laughs> Behind my head. Hey, we cured someone! Hooray! Look at that. Oh man, I think the doctor that um, Petra that could actually do surgery has gone on break. Yeah, yeah, I, oh, I was gonna say, I know there's a queue outside of GP's office, but I can't afford it, but I definitely can. I've got plenty of money now. So we get another GP's office right here. There we go. Now, how many doctors do I have? Four, and one of them is in surgery, and then we've got two GPs, and then I've got the second surgery doctor. I think I'm gonna need another doctor. Hmm, maybe diagnostics and GP, that's all right. Yeah, you go in there. Staff promotion, sure, there you go. Man, we've only gotten through two of these people in this surgical patients one. Hopefully, is this doctor now gonna go into the, the surgery? Yeah, there you go. So now he can work in there too, which is great. All right, I definitely need to get a research building or research room, which is, first of all, very expensive. Second of all, it has to be four by three, which I no longer have space for a four by three room. So I think we're gonna need to, yeah, yeah, I know, send the patient home. Uh, I will promote you. We are gonna need a bigger space or more space rather. 35, this one's pretty big, 50,000. Maybe I, I'd like to get this one. This looks like a nice building. I'm gonna save up for plot two. All right, 54,000, let's buy this. That'll build up this whole area. Then I can get in a research room. Well, there goes my money, negative 20,000, great. Uh, and then we can get the head office. I'm getting so many patients needing that. Also, everyone's just dropping dead like flies in this hospital. What is going on? Why are we not treating people? Oh yeah, look at this building. Now this is a nice shaped building. Get a level four staff room. Uh, how much do I, how much time do I have for that? 180 days? Okay, because I need to save up money first. Yeah, send patient home. I need to, um, well first we can get a level four staff room. I'm gonna put that here. All right, level four staff room done. Now I've got a million notifications. No, I'm not training you now. Uh, they want a chromotherapy room. I'm gonna send you home. Head office, send patient home. I'll promote you, uh, cool, we did that, not now, and cool, great. I'm also gonna build some bathrooms just here. Well, this is a big bathroom. This is like the biggest to toilet I've ever built. There you go, nice. And then we get to this nice big square area. All right, so the whole point of this building was actually <laughs> to get research. We're gonna get a research office like this, kind of annoying. Actually, no, not four, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not that bit. The, the hallway will come up a bit because I want this to be a three by three area here so we can fit, you know, normal sized rooms. I kind of want to get a lot of research going, but I don't know if I can really afford it yet, but we'll try to get a few of these. Maybe we can get three doctors researching. Oh, this room's actually not big enough. Oh, that's annoying, hang on. I have to do this, there we go. Maybe four doctors researching, how about that? 65,000 dollars. Oh boy, hang on, we got a lot of things going on here. <laughs> no, no training. Um, chromotherapy, uh, send you home because I just spent all my money on research. Six patients with Portishead, Portishead. Treat them at the ward, we can do that. You wanna be promoted? Uh, you can go home because we don't have head office. And what is this photo? Who is this? Junior assistant. Oh. I don't care about you. The junior, really? Junior assistant? Who, who is even the junior assistant? Because you both seem okay with life. Mostly these two. I feel like the janitors should be the ones quitting. Anyway, uh, I need to hire some doctors or get some student doctors that I can train up with research. So none of these people. Really need four. That'd be great. You're too good at your job. <laughs> Now, I believe I did have one doctor that had research, didn't he? Oh, no, I think it was someone I could have hired, but I didn't. Ooh, we didn't get Bet's teaching hospital this year. All right, well, both of my doctors that are in the surgery room are actually ready for training. So I think I want to do surgery too on both of them so they can become better surgeons. That'd be pretty good. Oh, I have no money. Right, okay. 
I keep forgetting that minor mishap. 20 grand, okay. It's actually not that expensive. Also, I might need another uh, cardiology. So I imagine there's eight people at cardiology, but like no one going to the uh, general diagnosis. Oh, you're too good at your job. I need a student doctor. I should get marketing and advertise for student doctors. All right, both you doctors go train in surgery two rooms. We need marketing. That's exactly what we need. Oh boy, there goes my money. Okay, so marketing office, we want to do recruitment marketing for, oh, I have to do researcher, not for a student doctor, sorry. A researcher campaign to attract mad scientist types with interest in research. Okay, well now I need to save a bit of money so I can actually do that. So we'll get to that soon. Start promotion, okay. Uh, level five room, no. Hmm. Chromotherapy, I should <laughs> send him home. <laughs> I should just build one of those rooms. I really, really should. Oh no, I need a doctor in the <laughs> surgery, but I sent them both over here. All right, we got 67 grand. Let's waste that money on a recruitment campaign for researchers for 12, no, I don't need a 12 month campaign. That's maybe not, that's, that's a bit ridiculous. Okay, six months. A decent campaign. So hopefully we will get, yeah, I know I need a head office. I don't, I don't have anyone to research it right now. Okay, I'm working on it. Okay, there's this person, but they, see they've got, they're quite expensive and they already have a wasted psychiatry we're never gonna use. I also, how much is another cardiology? We definitely need another one. We could put, end up putting, let's do two cardiologies over here. Actually, there's a couple things I wanna do. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Gonna move this room to here because it really doesn't need to be by the entrance. Yeah, so they'll just go over there. Then I'm gonna move this cardiology all the way over here and I copy it and get another one right next to it. So now we have a couple of these rooms, which is a non-upgraded one. Let's upgrade this one, close that room. And then let's get all the stuff we actually need over here, like heating, because we don't have any of that right now. All right, so we've got a few things happening over here now. Uh, the marketing campaign's going on. Can I get a doctor with research? Oh, I've also got diagnostics though. I want just one that only has research or nothing. Uh, also, we need chromotherapy. All right, let's get patient to wait. I think we can actually get chromotherapy now. <laughs> I think we should probably actually just get it. Oh, wait, I just lost all my money. Great, okay. <laughs> Paid a bunch of bills, fantastic. So chromotherapy is gonna go right here. A uh, little machine here. Right, so that's gonna be a chromotherapy room. So we can now actually use that, which should be nice. Oh, I didn't do any heating in it. Get a little uh, radiator in there. Oh, also the marketing room, whoops. And also this research lab, oh, whoops. Also this bathroom. I don't normally heat bathrooms because I can't normally fit stuff in here, but I think I can now. So might have to use a small one, hang on. Yeah, there you go. Also the uh, training room doesn't have any heating. Okay, now we have a huge queue for general diagnosis, which I guess we can just copy and put another one right next to it. So why don't we do that? The bench right in the way, so I'll put it there. It's still not like that. What's wrong with the door now? It should be fine. Is that a prop? What's in the way? Maybe this is like slightly in the way? I don't know. I'm actually not sure. Oh, it's fine now. Okay. I'm going to close this room and upgrade that machine at the same time. Oh my gosh, I've got so many things now. Hang on. No, not now. Not now. Discover pipe organs. Send patient home. Uh, promote three staff. Okay. Surgery emergency. Sure, I'll try. Okay. Doctors. Oh yes. We finally have a fresh doctor ready for training. That's all I want. There's one with research in there. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get you. Oh, I don't have enough money. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have the money for it. Oh dear. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So we're gonna train up the new doctor for research. I feel like my marketing campaign for, for hiring research doctors didn't really pay off that well. I need a PANS lab as well. All right, get patient to wait. We can probably buy that. PANS lab, four by four. Mm, oh, that throws a spanner in the works. What if we did that? Is that gonna be annoying? Cause we can go one, two, three here. And then we have this weird, oh, I guess we could then build rooms this way. Yeah, no, this would be okay. Not ideal, but it should be okay. So we get the pans lab just here. Nice fire extinguisher. And I think I'm gonna need some more nurses. Oh, there's a doctor. I'm gonna definitely need more doctors as well. I'm gonna get, we got another two student nurses up here. So I might grab those guys and I can just train them up when I need to. I need more janitors as well. I get this one. They've got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, never mind. I have minus $25,000. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this ward management nurse. They're pretty good. I think I'm okay for nurses for now though. Oh my gosh. This room has such a big queue. And I'm, I'm keeping this one closed until it's upgraded. Uh, can this guy, can you go do this one please? <laughs> Oh, they've been sent to all the diagnosis rooms. They're only 84% sure. I had to send them for treatment. That'll probably be fine. We could get like the x-ray and all that kind of stuff, but I don't really have money for that right now. We're trying to do other stuff. Oh yeah, whatever happened to that training? Are you still being trained? No, they're gone. Where do they go? You, my research doctor. You will only do research, please. Thank you. Dr. Cat Credible. She should be working in here now. This marketing campaign sucked. 
<laughs> like we're getting some research doctors, but not the ones I want. So I think I just need more janitors in general because there's a lot of crap going on in this hospital. Uh, I'll get this one. I got like maintenance mechanics and ghost hunting. This is nearly fully upgraded. There it is. Now I'm going to open this room. I, do, I don't need to like fully upgrade these machines to open it. I just like them to be fully upgraded because then it's like already really good and ready to go. Oh man, I have a queue of eight for my surgery. I should probably get another one. Ah. Hmm. We've not done any of the four in my little task. I did not realize it was so backlogged. 26 grand minimum to get another one. Okay. All right. So now at least these two are up and running and the, the load is divided between them. That's good. Uh, send patient home um, and I'll accept your challenge and 100 grand. I don't know if we can do that, but we'll try. Because we're now officially researching head office, which is nice. Marketing campaign completed. All right, let's just do general marketing then because small campaign. Let's give them something to do. Get some heating over here as well because someone was a bit cold. There we go. Hey, I'm actually doing really well with earnings. In like 30 days, we've earned like 85,000. That's pretty good. Oh, I could probably afford to actually get another surgery now. That's what I was waiting for. Uh, so what I would like to do, I guess, why don't we just get the two surgeries over this side, maybe one here and then another one below it. All right, so I've just been building that. Now I've got all this training stuff. I'll sort that out soon. We've got some promotions. We'll promote. Okay, did that. Uh, not now. Uh, head office, go home and promote three staff. I failed. <laughs> Great. Hey, yearly review. What do we get? Oh, still the first two. All right, cool. Moving on. All right, so we got one uh, new surgery here. I'm going to copy this and actually put it this way too. Oh, well, it costs a bunch of money. I should say 37, I got 35. So we're going to get these two here. I'm going to go get rid of this one. So now all these patients will come over this way, which is fine. Cool. So we've got a couple of set up over here. I probably need another doc. Oh, yes, another research doctor. Yeah. All right. So your job will only be to research as well and nothing else. We've got two research doctors. I actually need to make sure they can actually go in this room as well. There you go. So we got two people researching now. I would like to also get, you have a training slot, so I'm gonna get you and train you immediately in surgery, because I think we need another doctor that can do surgery, it would be ideal. And now everything's looking pretty good. Uh, I might actually need another GP, which I can definitely fit in right here now. So I might copy this and put it, oh boy, there's a lot of a lot of death sounds going on, but you know, that's nothing new for us. I'll put it there. So it's actually a little bit more roomy than last time. Move these snack machines. I have two of the same snack machine here for some reason. I don't know why, but might hire another doctor. Doctor. Oh, you got a bit of GP. There you go. You go in there. Cool. So you work in there with them. Um, send patient home. I didn't even read what that was, but I'm assuming we don't have it. But there we go. I think that's looking pretty good. It's a good start. We're on our way to one star. We can, I assume, cure turtle head once we have uh, the head office researched. But that one is going to have to wait until next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below if there's anything I'm doing wrong let me know but thankfully the layout of this hospital seems to be a, a lot easier to work with uh still having a lot of people not making it out alive but uh you know they still pay so that's kind of good thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time and have an awesome day